Building has begun on a landmark near DeSoto that was especially busy during the holidays. John Batten takes us to see the beginning of a new tradition. It'll still be red with white trim. <laughs> Daryl Zimmerman assures people that when the old barn at Zimmerman's Kill Creek Farm is finally rebuilt, it will look the same, even with some improvements. There's a, a, a lean-to addition going to be put on the west side, and that will have handicapped restrooms and a, a warming kitchen in it. When the old barn fell victim to a storm in May of 2010, people wouldn't let Daryl even think about not rebuilding. There were too many memories here of community events, especially the pumpkin sale in the fall. But Daryl came to realize he couldn't do it alone. You know, I'm 75 years old. <laughs> and if this thing's going to be uh, continue on, we have to have someone serious, some people seriously uh, interested in continuing that. So those who wanted to see the barn rebuilt started with a foundation, a nonprofit called simply the Barn at Kill Creek Farm. They raised money so crews could raise lumber. We got a lot of donations from from different. Uh, 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 companies, uh, the people that did the foundation work, the people that poured the, the, the flat work floor, all gave us discounts. But authentic old-fashioned mortise and tenon construction doesn't come cheap. We've got enough money to actually complete the roof, not the siding, not the lean-to. Daryl kicked in the insurance money from the old barn, plus a little. What does he get out of this? Well, maybe I can get some sleep now. <laughs> For a year and a half, I've worried about this. <laughs> and the rest of us can get some pumpkins and create new memories. John Batten, NBC Action News. <laughs> Daryl Zimmerman says the barn will hopefully be finished by the end of next summer, but no matter what, they will have the Harvest Festival there in October.